Mayor Blangiardi talked about his plans if the numbers remain at Tier 2 levels. Max Rodriguez follows up. Mayor Blangiardi says he will do everything he can to keep the city on Tier 3 and not go backwards, but nothing is for certain. If the case counts average on Oahu stays above Tier 3's threshold, the mayor says modify it. I think, quite honestly, that the tier numbers, when they were constructed before, could have been too low. I've asked for a modification to Tier 3 to have it be 50 to 100 cases. Uh, I think we could stay in that range at a positivity rate at around 2.5. Currently, Tier 3 says cases need to average below 50 in order to prevent going backwards, something the mayor strongly opposes. The notion of rolling back to Tier 2 is something I am dead set against as mayor, and I'll be on record of saying that. The governor says he is open to the idea of modifications to the emergency order covering Oahu. It may, may be necessary to modify his order so that it's not automatic. The current order requires the mayor to issue a request to move or adjust tiers by Wednesday. So I suppose they could just ignore the, cur the current order. You know, probably it might be better for them to uh, make a modification of that requirement that uh, explicitly directs the mayor to uh, issue a new order. Meanwhile, business leaders and state lawmakers Sylvia Luke and Glenn Wakai championing a proposal to remove restaurants from the tier system completely. Just chopping them all off because of one bad actor in one sector, that's totally not fair. Under the proposal, a restaurant would volunteer to join a pilot called the MANA program. If they pass rigid health inspections, the business would be removed from the tiers. We're, we were just trying to find a way to, to not be victims of, of other people's bad actions. The MANA program still being vetted by the state. Max Rodriguez, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.